I don't even know the real me. Hi guys. So this might look a little bit different. I am trying to play around with my filming space and where I'm going to be filming. And the place I had it set up, my tripod wasn't really working with being able to do a tutorial with it. So I currently have you guys stacked on a bunch of boxes. So hopefully this works out okay. Today I'm going to be doing my everyday eye tutorial. I recently did a foundation routine and I told you guys I was going to do a separate video for my eye makeup. So if you haven't seen that tutorial yet, I will link it right up here and I will go ahead and jump into the video. So the first step that I do with my makeup is I like to apply a base onto my eyelid. So since I tend to get a little bit red, especially on the lash line, um, I like to use a corrector. So I'm just using my Bobbi Brown corrector in light bisque. And so I'm just going to apply that right over the eyelid. So what I've been reaching for lately for my eyeshadows a lot more than I do my Naked palette, which is crazy because I love this thing and I still think this is completely worth um, the money and I think every girl should have this. But lately I've been using my Estee Lauder palette. This is just the Deluxe Eyeshadow Compact Pure Color Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I think this came in like a gift set. But this is what it looks like. I really love this palette because lately I've been experimenting with a little bit different brighter colors like the purples and the greens. Um, and the Naked palette just doesn't have that. So I'm going to be using this palette for the tutorial today, but you can use any color you want. I'm going to show you the basic technique I use, and I switch out my colors pretty much every day, so I don't really use a set certain colors when I'm doing my makeup, so you can pretty much achieve this look with any color. For the tutorial today, I'll be using this brush, which is a Urban Decay Flat Shader Brush. This came in the Naked palette. I will also be using where is it? this angled brush. I think this is, yeah, this is a MAC 266. And I will also be using a e.l.f. contour brush. And this is the most important part. You need to have a blending brush, and that will kind of blend all your colors together. A lot of times when I see girls do their makeup, they don't use a blending brush, and it really makes a difference. Um, when you see all those little tutorials on Pinterest and stuff, usually the way that they get it to look different from yours is because they're using a blending brush. So I would go pick this one up. It's by e.l.f. It's only $3, and I think it's completely worth it. So as a main base, I'm going to start with this pink color right here. It is called, oh gosh, hold on, Ivory Slipper. And I'm just going to pick that up on my little shader brush. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. I'm going to go in with this yellow color right here. It is called French Vanilla. And for this color, I'm just going to go right here by the lash line under the crease. Now I'm going to go in with this middle, it's a golden color, it is called Sugar Biscuit. And I'm going to apply it on the same area, but I want to try to keep it in the inner half of the eyelid. And 
and just take that French vanilla color and go right over that and it'll just bring it out a little bit more. Now for the crease, I'm going to be using the Angled MAC 266 brush. And usually what I will do with my crease is I will start off with a lighter color. Say I'm using blues, so then I will do a light blue color. And then after I blend that out on the crease, at the outer corner, I will do a darker color, so a darker blue. Today, I think I will use the blues. So I'm going to start out with this blue right here, which is called, these are so hard to see, Peacock Blue, I think. So I'm just going to take a very small amount onto my brush, and you can even dust it off a little bit. And I'm just going to focus this right above the crease and then take your blending brush and just do very light strokes back and forth And already you can start to tell that it gives it just that very airbrushed look. So now I'm going to use this. It's a purpley blue color. It's called... I don't even know how to say that. Let's see if I can put it on here so you guys can read it. This color right there. And you're going to get a little bit onto your brush and you're just going to concentrate it on this outer section right here. You don't want to bring it in too far. And with your blending brush you want to be very careful not to drag too much of the color out of place. You just want to kind of blend the edges so it doesn't look too harsh. And just keep building it up a little bit. So this is what the first eye looks like. So now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now I'm back, and both eyes have the eyeshadow on them. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do are my eyebrows. And for my eyebrows, I use my Naked Palette still. Um, I use the color Tease right here. And then a flat angled brush, and this one I've cleaned off very well. And I'm just going to pick up a little bit of product. I don't really go outside of how my brows are shaped because I do like the way that they are shaped. Um, this one I do extend just a little bit, but for the most part I just fill them in. Anymore. I can't even show how I feel. I hit the floor. I'm talking rock bottom, my feelings I follow. I can't believe it's come to this. Cause I need a grip on reality. Yeah, yeah, now I I'm going to take the darker color I used on a flat angled brush and I'm going to line my bottom lash line. Now for the hardest part that people try to make seem really easy, it is the eyeliner and I am using Maybelline Line Stiletto Ultimate Precision Liquid Eyeliner. I, 
So last part, mascara, and I'm just using the Colossal Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. I usually use an eyelash curler, but mine is broken right now, so I will not be using it. So I'm just going to put on a couple coats. I, 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 I want to feel some, some sensitivity. I, 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 I'm here. I'm telling you, I cleared my life, I changed my head. I'm trying to catch my skin again. section of my eye, I feel like it makes your eyes look a lot bigger and more open. And that is it for my eye makeup routine. This is kind of what I like to call an everyday smoky eye, so it's perfect for during the day, but it's still a little bit glammed up. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in the next video. Trying to catch my skin again Finding out what makes me want to live Living it up again It's my world, I paid my way Got my sensitivity